What's cracking? What's cracking? What's cracking? I miss y'all over here. Amen. To God be the glory for the things he keeps on doing for us all. Um, uh, I'm going to just tell you before we get into the lesson uh, for today, I've been in Ecclesiastics. Uh, uh, yeah, I read the whole entire chapter. Um, I want to welcome you to the official worldwide ride with your girl, Miss Martha of the Martha Show streaming live. I want to say to my sponsors, FNB Communications, Pastor Somas, James W. Dow, Cindy Armour out of Texas. Then we want to give it up for BLK25 out of Los Angeles, um, New York City, uh, Perez Blackman, uh, Lane Gibbs, Prophet Michael Willis. Then we want to give it up for my baby girl, Fragrance of Love, Gloria Lightburn, up out of <clears throat> Santa Monica, California. And then we want to give it up for D. Mac McKelly, the McKelly clan out of Canton, Ohio. www.missmartha.tv. I got to get into this off the top. Uh, just I'm, I'm going to introduce you in to it first. Hey, man, I know you miss me, too. Uh, 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 I, I got so lots of devils on my um, uh, post, uh, but I'm fighting them with um, my sword and shield and my holy goals and all of them things uh, put together. Thank you and welcome to the ride, Las Vegas. Los Angeles, Detroit, Chicago, Ohio, Canada, Florida, Iraq, Kuwait, Iran. I'm a little labored <clears throat> in, in my speaking and thought process, but I had to get this one in. Over in Isaiah, I mean, not Isaiah, Ecclesiastics, over in the, we're going to go to the back of the page on this. I got to go to, I want to go to the New Living, I mean, yeah, the New Living Testament Bible, because I need to break uh, break some yokes uh, right quick. It says, don't let the excitement of the youth cause you to forget the creator, the honor for him, which is what? Pleasant and which is not life pleasant anymore. And then it says, remember him before your legs and your guards of all the strong and strong things. Remember him before thee, your teeth that what few remaining. You know, I got a little bit left, you know, on my teeth. Assist. And then uh, it says, remember him before the door, life opportunity closes and the sound fades away. Now rise up first, what cripping and the birds, uh oh, then the sound they give. I'm, I'm gonna stay right there because I don't want to get off track of what I'm talking about. Amen. And so, as we've been going on, we got two weeks into the election, we got two weeks, uh, to really do the election of Christ. And I've been going through a lot, you guys. I mean, I'm not perfect. Uh, you know, I was laughing at, um, thank her, uh, Pastor Roslyn Jefferson, Evangelist Roslyn Jefferson. She's been married for 47 years, a uh, man. And I was like, whoa, what was taking place in those 47 years? And so I started thinking about my little seven years in, you know my second one, but I want to tell somebody something uh, before I get into uh, the inhabitants of us, us this is. So Ecclesiastic, the entire uh, Bible, the entire Ecclesiastics, all the way uh, coming from the book before Ecclesiastics, is telling us about how we are so vain. How we are so vain. We are vain about our thought process. We are we are vain about what's going on with us. We are tricking the game. And so that brings me to my main point of being vain. You are not considered a human. Amen. 
being a Christian or anything like that because you what? You disagree to disagree with someone. Well, I had four incidences that happened to me and I was appalled. <laughs> I, when I say I was appalled is that I was thinking, wow, and this is what's going to take care of me. Uh, first of all, I've been working a long time. I've been working on this kingdom business since, what, before 2005, over 20 years. And so it brings me to the synopses of my, what, surroundings. The vanity that is being put on me to, what, receive what you're saying. Back to this Bible, the scriptures, the scribes, the scrolls, whatever you want to call them, they are put here to remind you that this same thing that was going on yesterday is going on today. But the vain part is what uh, a captivation of no word for what no inheritance, for what no deciphering what you are doing. Um, so, as I think about it and carefully, you know, you got to be politically correct these days. You can't just pop off and 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 do what you want to do. You can say what you still want to say, but you can't do what you want to do. You know, like call, you know, people out of their names or whatever. But I've been coming to the conclusion. The vanity don't stop with just your good looks or your charm. The vanity starts with your heart process, uh, meaning whatever you do in your heart is true um, sometimes, amen. And so, meaning some of us don't know no better and some of us don't know how to expound or to express ourselves or coming in on another show or as they say, drag, I'm going to drag you today with what the God's word that I know. And so when I was reading that, it really, you know, because I'm going to get into the Psalm of Solomon, but it really got a, a calculating, uh, a structure from me. And I was saying, dang, it says, but my child, let me give you further advice. Be careful for writing this book, Endless, Much Study, Wears You Out. Uh-oh. That the whole story and the final conclusion, fear of God and obey his commandments, is everyone's what? Duty. It says God will judge you for everything we do. Not some of the things we do ever read thing. God is going to judge us. And then as he's judging us, he includes the very secret, whether it's good or bad. So that scripture in Ecclesiastic is still coming back to the vainness of how Amen. That we think that we can do and continue to do wrong and it's going to somehow come out right. Talk to me, soldiers. So the Lord is my shepherd. And since he's being my shepherd in the time of storm, he's holding up my head when I want to just lay down on the by the pool of Bethesda and just say, I don't want to pick my bed up. I don't want to pick up my crosses. I'm just going to let it go how it is. So I'm going to end this one by saying this before I'm going to teach us a little bit more about being vain. But did you hear that last part? Let me do it again. <laughs> God is going to judge us, amen, on all 
everything, not half a piece of everything. And as he's judging us for everything, whether it was what, good or bad. So I'm just stopping by to serve some notice on this bad behavior. You don't got to believe nothing I'm saying because I'm just reading it out the word of God. Amen. I am the messenger of Christ, uh, meaning I'm jumping around in the books that I want to talk about because I was trying and doing to get what a understanding in my spirit. And so I'm going to tell you a couple of things now. Mm, Holy Ghost. Now, when you're out there being mischievous and when you're out there marching your stance, amen. And then when you march your stance, you make your stance, amen. Then you say what thus said, the Lord. And so as the Lord interpretates and inhabitates of what we gonna do as Christians, I ain't talking to you if you ain't no Christian or if you're not holding up the blood, what the blood saying banner for Jesus. I'm not talking to you. You get a pass at that point. But whether I pass you or not, the white throne of judgment is for both the sinner man and the saved man. And so what I'm trying to say is the story that I have is when we disagree or when you have not been in that area of expertise yet or when no one has bamboozled you yet or you just think everything is good, good, good. The only thing I know that's good, good, good is the word of God. Amen. So I'm not confused on what's good for Martha. Amen. So as I travel along my journey, I'm getting stir crazy now. I'm ready to hit the shows. But I'm going to tell you something. A lot of us are putting our indi what independent questions to the test in the task. And I just stopped by to tell us what I seen yesterday when I was having a conversation and I seen a 25 year old walk away, storm away. And then I seen her mother making excuses on what is my way or no way. That is not the way of Christ. I'm gonna serve you notice about your actions. I'm going to serve you notice when you do me wrong. Amen. I'm not that no more. I grew in to how the Lord wants me want to be. And so that means that if you do something that to disrupt the flow of Jesus Christ, get ready for me to just say, all right, then I'm out of there. The bamboozlement is over. The chastising of making me do what I want you to do. The popularity contest is not yours to give. Amen. Just like Cat Williams say, come on over here, number 11, or come on over here, number 12. Be my hater. But in Jesus Christ, there is always a remnant. There's always a possibility that we need to check the game. And when I check my game with the Lord and I check my stance with him and then I'm doing what he said do, I'm not going to be denied. So the question is, are you in the game to win do you want to learn something? Can we do it and sing Kumbaya together as we learn the wheels of the writers of the scrolls of the Bible to super succeed all of the things that we are going through? I know we are living in a dying world. 
Amen. I know that trouble don't last always, but then I also know that uh, you it says uh, you got to endure until the end, and then when your change uh, begin to come, you can do what the Lord says does. And so I'm just serving you notice. Uh, you better start doing what the Lord said do, not what Martha says does, what the Lord says do. He is holding us accountable, good or bad. Don't be saying the good I would and evil always lurking. Just say, I ah, what? I'm not with those that are not following God, period, point blank. Kabul is over. Through the what? Through the blood of Christ. I'm going to get more into vanity. I'm going to get into more of me weeping, being ashamed of what I'm seeing. I'm going to get in the shut to uh, shutting it down some kind of way. I'm your player from the Himalaya. I love Jesus Christ. He is my best friend. But guess what? Don't forget the player been out there. Long time ago, long time ago, I plead the blood of Christ for us to stop fronting the game and go on and be the game. Pieces, deuces. I'm your girl, Miss Martha, the Martha Shows. I love you. I love you with the love of God. Amen. Thank you so much, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit, the unction of Christ uh, to get us in the right track. I need my Bible scholars, my Bible thumpers, my players. Go on, on and read the entire chapters of Ecclesiastics. I love you with the love of the Lord. Thank you, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Detroit, Chicago, Ohio, Canada, Florida, Iraq, Kuwait, Iran.